lot, but uh, we're talking about RCL Legacy over here. They have seen every single squad in the competition by 2 1 or 3 0, and they look to continue the streak of winning all the series and becoming the most dominant team in this competition. But it looked as if the hotel yard is going to be highly, highly contested, in which these two squads have uh, they, 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 they could not even dominate it because they're so out in the open and every single flag counts in this one is going to be pdr esport oh just six six and like i said it's very very out in the open between these two yeah look at young jay go out there in the open with his arctic 50 using it like a shotgun man that guy is crazy but he gets it done because the skills are unbelievable. Locks goes in there, gets taken down. Kevs with the pistol only might bring out a sniper in a bit. Wacky pulls out FHJ. Is he gonna be able to get that damage done? Arctic 50 still in there. RTL Legacy has managed to pull away quite a bit of points from the hotel yard thus far, Sakaiji. But right now, as we move over, this is gonna be hard point number two. I wonder if PDR Esports is gonna to make a comeback at the warehouse. Yeah, they better do, but RTL, and as they have been so far in this competition, they have been smashing it, and they are trying to smash it as well in this one. Because uh, remember, it, last night, it was their huge, huge comeback victory up against the brothers of PDR Esports, which is PDR Reborn, which is going to be absolutely huge. And if they can take out the other PDR team in Esports, it means that RTL is more than ready in this one and they're not letting VR Esports to even take any stuff, any points in this one. As you can see, everyone is on fire for the side of RTL. Warehouse wear down coming in here from RTL. VR Esports try to go in there for those points, doesn't get them at all. But right now, the hard point is going to rotate over to the house and will be unlocked in 8 seconds. We can see that a lot of PDR Esports players have swarmed the house right now. How is Rage El Susano going to take this on against each other? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it will be PDR Esports first and then the house to pick up those points. And here comes Martial with the battalion Sakaichi. Yeah, and Fan Lu, uh, he has been absolutely massive over there, and that serves as an opening for RTL Legacy. Go in there, but Jello, he tries his best with the gravity spike, and he takes down as well. He takes down Wacky in there as well to take back House and to get some points on the floor, try to play catch up with RTL and Susano Vanlu Kevs, do I say? He's trying his best to attack from the windows, but that did not work. And look at RTL, they are now struggling just for a little while in this one. Yeah, it's no surprise at all, man, because this is the spawn of PDR uh, eSports, right? So for them to be able to come in there and get that hard point again and again is accepted and is accept you know, acceptable as well, right? And let's take a quick look here because as we rotate over to the bakery, PDR eSports need to reset RTL's spawn first before they can dominate the game. But RTL is not allowing them to do that. Here they come swarming into the bakery right now to take each every single little cookie out of the oven ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's gonna be pdr esports coming in here to put their hands in the cookie jar is rtl gonna snap at them or are they gonna be able to get away with it pdr esports gets away with it for a few seconds the guy team but gets coming in here krm and takes it right back yeah there are three men attacked them by pdr esports they actually got it first but gets doing it all all by himself getting in there and get the final kill as well to take it back for the team of rtl legacy and as you can see rtl they are trying their best to actually snuff pdr esports out of even the middle side of the map because they knew what is going to come next which is going to be the hotel yard all over again and they look to just and this one and RTL wants to take a huge advantage and it the game number two. Yeah man, I mean RTL starting the day off so so strong, right? But but they are already halfway through to making that 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 prediction come true, right? If they can get a triple, if they can get a three game back to back on PDR esports, are they going to put PDR esports into a tie position and make them?
them go with a head-to-head -head squall. If they are, the, the, the night, the tonight is gonna get just so much more crazier, man. 25 seconds in there, BDR Esports attempting a comeback, but RTL just shutting them down, just like that. Millionis, the mic goes in for the push, BDR for a second, but RTL all the time, Sekai G. Yeah, and but uh, usually done by PDR Esports to actually say no to RTL trying to win it in this fifth hard point. But they need, they really, really need to just make that switch over to the next hard point. But looking at how aggressive RTL is, it looks a bit, uh, a little bit too, too far, a little bit too hard on them because it's a 3v1 yet again. And it is going to be RTL's game straight away in this warehouse. It will end. Hardpoint contestants. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, BDR Esports. They gave it, then they gave it their all. And right now, they're still giving it their all. Not allowing RTL to pick up the point. But RTL has been so commanding thus far. And that commanding gameplay will come through yet again towards the end. As a road to a legendary RTL legacy takes round number one against PDR Esports. And what a well fought round by RTL. PDR Esports tried so very hard for that comeback, man. But they were outclassed in that match. And that will just mean that uh, only PDR Esports can catch them now. They're on 16, PDR Esports on 14. If, let's say, PDR won the next two games, then uh, they are the only ones that will topple RTL Legacy from the summit of the mountain, which is at the top of the, ta uh, top of the yeah. table because they are now the undisputed first place after NU Anarchy. They, they got 15 points, but yeah. RTL Legacy put themselves one step further but they, they, they they're not gonna sleep on just 16 they want to take yep. this competition by the scrum of the night they they, they, they they want to dominate they want to show them who's boss and they are showing it right now 150 to 73 it looked to have been a crazy match by these two yeah, man. I mean, it, it, it looked like that, but it was quite a commanding lead from RTL from the start to end, right? Uh, PDR Esports, they, they really didn't look like they had any sort of control on that map, uh, on the situation at all. As we move into Search and Destroy, it's going to be such a slower pace, a much slower paced match. So maybe we will be able to see those differences, maybe those miracle plays coming in from PDR Esports to save the day for themselves. Because we know that is something they truly need right now, Sakaichi. Yeah, uh, because uh, for PDR Esports, right, only one win will secure them qualification already. And they cannot afford yeah. to actually lose all three because it will put no. them in danger yet again. Especially with yeah. that last game, with that main event game uh, having Correct. to be played right after this. But um, yeah. uh, I... I, I, from 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 here, right? I I don't see where RTL Legacy is going to slip up. Uh, very probable on search and destroy, right? Because this is yes RTL's pick. And let's see how does RTL go in here for the push because those fast plants are definitely required, Sakaichi. But against a squad like PDR, look at that. Milione is coming in here, opening up the match with a kill. Kev's taken out already. How will Wacky go in here for the snipe and try to maybe even out the odds between the two? Because this is where PDR Esports can snatch that one, uh, you know, qualifier point, man. Yeah, because they only need one to secure and confirm qualification without the need to even look at the last game of the day. CF over Milionis, Susano as well. As he gets traded there, CF is 3v3, but the bomb is still in the hands of Pandu. It's just that they don't know where to go because he has been defended brilliantly, but Lox is down as well. Pandu took matters into his own hands, but the bomb is dropped already.
Uh, it looks like Jello is going to come out in here. Arctic 50, wacky gameplay, bomb on the ground. Wacky can go in here for the pickup. It's a two-on-two -two situation. Might be a, a Bravo plant, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And the players from RTL are quite near to that bomb. Now, I'm not sure why they're not picking it up just yet, but they can call the pace of the match. 36 more seconds on the clock, and they will finally go in for the push. Susano spotting that player out, not getting that kill. Jello coming in for the push. KRM... That means RTL is in trouble. Oh, Jello with a two go. piece of his moon. Nice there you done. go, man. Because, mm -hmm. because they knew that RTL had no choice. They need to go for the bomb plan. He just waited for that gauge bar to actually go up, and then he will ambush them one by one. Yeah, very, very well called by BDR Esports. If, you know, Jello didn't go in there with that patience, with the patient gameplay, there's no way BDR Esports would have been able to get that. He went in there for the rotation and he positioned himself for beautifully. BDR, look at that. CF and KF taken out. Ben Lu coming in here for the revenge. Maybe to even things out. And he does exactly that with a two-piece for himself. Susano taking out Young J as well. And just like that, it is a 3-2 situation. Millionis as well as Lox coming in here for Millionaires in trouble. And here comes RTL. Susano shutting down. Millionaires as well. Locks solo player going in here. Not for the push. RTL with the bomb. And they get blocked. Down. Locks. Beautiful takedown. And he'll get away. Bat, bat, maybe, Sakaichi. I uh, just rounds out of harm's way as Susano will take back the bomb. But he knew that the bomb will be planted at Alpha. So Locks will have to go and rush in against these two which will surely defend both of the flanks and uh, they, they they kind of knew that uh, Lots is going to make that huge long rotation from maybe from the uh, control room over here so uh, he needs to really really be careful over here Lots but the time is running away for him Trophy is down so he knew where are the RCL players but he needs to go for the two piece of his own in this last 15 seconds here, AJ. Oh, he gets it. Can he go and get the defusal? He does have the time. Come on, locks. Come on, locks. Five seconds. No, he could have got it. In. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and he does get it. What a clutch coming in from me. D R locks, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. There's no time, AJ. Just gone in there and done it, Sakaichi. Yeah, he did. He, okay, I, 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 do, I don't know. Maybe uh, that um, Susano coming is actually more than enough to actually give him uh, so a little bit of doubt in himself to actually go for that uh, defusal. But uh, I don't know, man. Uh, that was very, very fine play from RTL himself. As uh, they knew that he's going to make the defusal, he tries to go and kill it, and it's more than enough for that distraction gameplay. And it's just no time, although Lox gets the kill in the end, but RTL gets the points in the end. Yeah, and that's where we call the decision making, right? Because if Lox had just taken cover, there's no way he could have gotten a hit just behind that bomb site, man. I mean, that was the perfect situation, and he was already on the prone. There was no parts of his body showing out, and he couldn't have lost that position. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, RTL will have that point just because of that split second decision four versus three right now jello millionis rage coming in here rage getting taken down by wacky beautiful shot and right now two players right there in front of him wacky also has a fennec on him which means the players from pdr esports better be watching out millionis with that shot oh wonderful snipe there by millionis but he's the only one left he gets scared though it's going to be Susano as well as Wacky. So Millionis will have to make that clutch like what Lox did. Just that he needs to make sure that the time is on his side as well. When he makes all the kills, he tries to get one. But just, just missing Wacky. He gets one. It's just Wacky left there. Oh, Millionaires, but Wacky is just too good. And, and you know, it, it, it's the pressure moment, man. Wacky knows he has the position already. He sees Millionaires coming. He's confident going in for that takeover. Millionaires, on the other hand, he just came out of that round on that reload as well. You don't know if you're going to get pushed. So, you know, stressful situation. You can't blame him. Well played by RTL. Great pressure. Yeah, and uh, PDR Esports, they cannot afford to let... Uh, 
they, they cannot afford to be taken out until there's like, what, one player left to go for that clutch gameplay because yes, they are more than capable of doing that. It's just that the high pressure situations, especially when RTL Legacy is on the attack, and this could be even better. Young J over Van Lu. They could be a good start for PDR Esports over here. Now it's 3v5. Young J again with a two piece of his own. Billion is still trying to come in here for that crazy gameplay. PDR has been doing great so far, Sakaichi. Maybe this will be that opportunity where that point gets taken away. Rage going in there. Wacky taken out as well. Susano as well. If Kev, I, I don't think RPL is going to be able to clutch this. Rage and a beautiful shutdown. PDR Esports has managed to steal two points away from the attacking side. RTL. Legacy. I, I don't know if RTL is going to be very happy with that because PDR Esports will be on the attack after this round, Sakaichi. Of course, uh, especially when RTL Legacy had no chance whatsoever to go to the bomb site. They didn't that they didn't get an entry kill. They all got ousted one by one by one. It looked as if they were dominated in that round. But uh, now it is the time for RTL to actually show who's boss because they better get the advantage heading into the five defending rounds that they're going to have right after this. But Young Jay has been phenomenal in the previous round. Young Jay sitting down just inside of that cable car, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Not many people do go ahead and occupy that extra space, that cable car there. It is just slightly outside of the map, you know, Sakaichi. Young Jay, Locus, he will back away yet again. And it looks like for the time being, RTL just decides to go ahead and find the ball. How far it will be. And PDR Esports needs to come in for the push. Ooh, Rage coming in here. Ninja defusal right now. And they might be able to get it one more second ah oh. oh, wacky shut down oh and just having it as well there wacky just saved the top for the kick but they are losing life left right and center as well and lose tries his best but it's just just gets taken out of the game gets as well gets with the one he needs to get another one over here with time ticking away millionaires will have to make the push with the fedex in hand Oi, I think he's just one second too late, man. Oh, he got it! No! What? He got it! The absolutely crazy clutch, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The diffusal started at the very end of that five second mark. He shouldn't have been able to get that. But what a crazy clutch. Not even giving up at that very final second. Not dropping the ball at all. BDR Esports. And right now, they have the advantage. They go on the attack. And they are in front. Three to two. RTL Legacy needs to work harder, Sakaichi. Yeah, absolutely. After losing three attacking rounds over there as well, in which you are the ones calling the game. You are the ones calling the pace of uh, how the matchup is going to go. And you lost three of the five that you afforded. It is going to be absolutely tough. But now they are trying to show with Wacky with a nade over Young J to start it off. Can they actually do what PDR Esports did? Or maybe oh, no, do one better? Just try to take the four points for the win as well. Oh, Billion is going in there for the push. Unfortunately, gets taken down. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here comes the hold by RTL Legacy. They have occupied the green radar station as well as the cable car platform. PDR Esports does not know how to take the push against them, but they should be able to get the plan off. But Lox is in here. But it is the hesitation which pays off. CF getting taken down. None other than Lox getting it done. Kev's in for Jello. Here comes Van Lu as well. Ray out of the equation, locked melee. Is he gonna get it? RTL Sakaichi pulls one back. It's just no give, uh, no no giving up in RTL Legacy, isn't it? Because it looks as if uh, the the odds are just against them, but. The opener in which they are being more aggressive, they they want it more. And all the trades that are coming as well from very, very tough positions as well for RTL Legacy. This is the team that has been smashing it the whole tournament. And they have beaten... Oh! So, so close! Oh! And he got it! He has a ball. 
Oh, he got it just in time, man. Bomb right now picked up by Young Jay. But CF is already at the window. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, control group number two approached by Young Jay. Young Jay gets the kill and he goes in for yet another one. But Van Lu's right behind him. He doesn't see that and gets slashed down. It's going to be Millones going in for the shot. Double, triple shots coming out. Millones is with the miss. Van Lu, but Susano finishes him off from the left. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, RTL Legacy with the commanding back-to-back -back victories thus far. Oh, you, you see the double snipes that are coming as well just to intercept the bomb plan right in the nick of time. That is how close as it gets. It is just the same as how uh, you see PDR Esports got their third point by just the virtue of not by not not one second in there. And that's the same as how RTL actually made the interception and that actually smashes the momentum of PDR Esports in the previous round. Well, look at the positioning coming in from RTL, man. I love how they come in here and hold Summit. Green radar station, cable car platform, full lockdown. And you also have got one player from the forklift area. And I believe that is Van Lu just going on for the hole, hoping to see if or not he can spot anyone for going in for that alpha, uh, you know, position, right? For that plant. But it looks like this lockdown will hold PDR Esports back. They are scared to go in for the plant right now, Sakai. And it's very rare that you see the attacking side, you know, in the game. Oh. oh, that is going to be a good start. Now the entry kill is going to immobilize a little bit for the side of RTL Legacy. And the bomb has been planted thanks to your opening that has been done just now with the sniper kill. Just a little bit with that nade is going to be the takedown gameplay for RTL Legacy. But can they do it? Because there are four players over there. Young Jay is down as well. The son of Vandu is down. He's just Ooh. all alone. He got Billionis from four out. He's just 1v1 oh, now. Becky. But it's right now a KRM against Fennec. Both guns extremely deadly close range. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Wacky goes in there for the fake first. Out there for the peak. Rage is still behind the wall. Rage not going in for the peak. Oh, manages to expose himself. And Wacky gonna go down on the floor. Oh, one shot. Oh, just misses that by an inch, And he will pay for it because the Fennec, although has got a small mag, it is still the king. For close quarters combat. Yes, and uh, as you can see as well, right? The positioning of Rage just now, he just waits for the time to reach five before he actually goes for the engagement of the combat because he knew if, when taking the risk, you can die or you can win the fight. You can kill, you can die, but there he kills. Although if he dies, but uh, PDR Esports will still get the equalizing point over RTL. Well, RTL right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, still looking hunting for the win. But it is PDR Esports with the push in here. Once again, Green Radar Station, Cable Car Platform, full lockdown coming in. We've got one player at the forklift area. I have never seen a defensive hole by a squad like this. But unfortunately, you know what's going to be crazy, Sakaichi? I think it is not going to work out in their favor because they're allowing PDR Esports to come in here and hold the bomb site with the plant first and then force them to come back for the retake which is going to give PDR a lot of opportunities to get. Oh, but look at the kills as well. Oh. It's 2v1 now and it's going to be huge for Van Lu to have the two piece and going for the defusal all by himself. RTL with a match point over here. Allowing their opponents to come in there for an easy plan and then getting into their heads, moving in for that surprise wipe all together as one squad. Brilliance coming in from RDL Legacy. Van Lu once again, Fennec gameplay. He is going to keep a close watch on that Alpha bomb site. And we can see a push coming in from one player, and I believe that could be Kevs. Kevs going in really, really close towards that bomb site right now. Young Jay getting taken down and Kevs with that brilliant push. Million is taking down Kevs for that brave gameplay. Coming in here right now, melee in hand. It is a four on four situation, but the damage has been done with the four player gameplay right now coming in from PDR. They might need to second guess going for the plant Sakaichi. Yeah, and as you can see, they are making the very, very long rotation. 
but it needs to be careful with all the snipers as well as you, as you can see why Milion is having a long scoop over there just to see if there's an opening for Lox to make that bomb plant just behind him and I believe that is more than enough but look at RTL they just waited and they are going to go in like a wolf pack into where PDR Esports have positioned themselves which is also at the bomb site as well Oh, but that's dangerous, man, because Milliones is already there, and Milliones is a crazy dangerous guy. When he gets onto the snipers, you will get shut down. But Susano right now, getting that positioning right, takes down Milliones. Susano gets wiped out by Locks. Well played by PDR Esports, but look at the board right now, Sakaichi. We will switch back over, which will put RTL Legacy in here with that calling of the match. Well, they better do it right because they have lost two and uh, they have Red. lost three, one only two as the attacking side. So this could be slightly advantageous for the side of PDR Esports, but we never know, right? Because RTL, they look to have been slightly uh, better in terms of strategic uh, attacks, a strategic way of defending. And PDR, but PDR Esports, they are so, they have been doing so, so well in trying to get back into these kinds of games. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is where things get a little bit more sticky for the two squads, right? And this is going to be such a nerve-wracking round for everyone because the first team to make the mistake will go ahead to lose the match. And neither one wants that. If PDR Esports right, manages to do time. this, they can secure their position at the playoffs. If RTL Legacy manages to get the win, they are so much closer to putting PDR Esports in that relegation zone. Milliones approaching Cavs right now. This might be a mistake. Cavs with that opportunity, Milliones with that response. Moving in, it is going to be Van Lu. Solo gameplay. Van Ash goes in for the shots with the takedown, but the players are going to play pushing, and Lox is just a little bit too late. Comes back in here. Lox, Van Lu, oh, both getting taken down as the support. Gameplay comes in from the RTL players. Milliones right now solo taking on Wacky as well as CF. This is RTL's game to win. Milliones on the snipe, but it looks like RTL already has this game all set and completed, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And there you go, Sakaichi. PDR Esports just ever so closer to that relegation spot, man. Ooh, 6 5. What a game. 11 game crazy over there. And, uh, that is absolutely yeah. huge. This is, th th this is, um, this is how close as it gets for yeah. both these teams. But RTL Legacy have the two points already. They are the undisputed first place in this one already. Yeah, man. Okay, so le let's see, right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, what happens in here after this, right? The results once again, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, 150 to 73, won by RTL, 6 to 5, very, very valiant fight in there by PDR Esports, but won by RTL. And we go into our final match in here. Final chance of redemption for PDR Esports, Sakaichi. Like you said, RTL has already secured the top of the leaderboard. Nobody can touch them anymore. But do they want to take the juggernaut win by not only securing it with a one-point extra advantage, but also forcing a squad like PDR Esports down for the fight to survive? Yeah, uh, fighting for survival and actually need to uh, see how will Triple V Esports and PDR Reborn are going to go at it against each other. And yet again, it is going to be PDR Esports pick of standoff. They better not be dominated over here if they want to secure qualification. Yeah, so... RTL, so far, textbook gameplay, but not all the way through, right? Because if they had stuck purely to their textbook gameplays, you know, we, we should have seen PDR Esports get a few of those wins off of them quite easily. We did see some rounds being taken by PDR, but what's interesting about RTL is the way they managed to shake up their defenses, the way they, you know, kind of scramble up their gameplay for the following round. But this time though, Sakaichi, it's not going to be yeah, divided in here by rounds, yeah. right? It's just a non-stop push for the 75-point mark. Get RTL Legacy, keep 
with that same exact pressure and yet again win this. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be huge if RTL can win this one as well because it's going to be another 3-0. Another uh, message being sent to all the teams in the Philippines Championship. They are here to win, although they have to go through the qualification rounds, but they look so, so good in here. But BDR Esports can actually scratch them a little bit by winning one and securing qualification for themselves as well which leaves just one qualifying spot one playoff spot in here but look at rtl they are not going for bravo they are particularly going for the charlie side of pdr esports as well Nah, that was just a distraction there, Sakaichi, just to hold them back so they will retaliate, right? Because we already saw a few of those players coming in from PDR Esports uh, towards that Bravo side. But RTL was trying to get that backstab through the hotel shortcut. And attempting that Charlie spot made them, you know, back there, come all the way back to the defense and allowing PDR Esports, sorry, allowing RTL that pick up on Bravo. So let's see if or not they will be able to continue this sort of a pressure man because pdr esports is getting caught out by mind games here right now yeah and uh, they're doing it perfectly i should say because rtl they, they they only send like one or two players and then the other three is going to go and uh, quickly take bravo cheekily as well as may i add and uh, it's that game the belief over here all the pdr esports they are trying their best to secure point bravo as well but susano said no with a two people three piece of his own over there Ah, uh, mid-square getting held down very, very tightly by RTL. The defense gameplay just coming in so sweet. Here comes Susano, KRM action goes in, jumps and shoots, goes in for that slide for the defensive move as well. Trying not to get caught out and he gets yet another kill from that attempt. Here comes CF right now, War Machine in hand. Manages to get that damage done but takes himself out in the process. But throughout all of these battles, RTL Legacy still in here with the lead, 55. 234 right now, Sakaichi, and it's gonna be Susano with the war machine push, and he will be able to defend that Bravo spot for a little while as well. Yeah, Susano will have been fantastic as well as CF over there, but Susano with all the defensive skills and uh, very, very important for the side of RTL Legacy, in which they are looking to just show who's the boss. They are looking to show that they are absolutely dominant over here. PDR Esports, they tried their best. It was a valiant effort to uh, take both Alpha and Bravo at the same time at one point in this first half, but RTL Legacy is just to good over here in the first half. 75 to 44, AJ, is another donut ready to be served. Absolutely, man. But of course, PDR can definitely make a comeback in here. This is going to allow them some breathing room as they come back in here for the push, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. RTL Legacy, on the other hand, already. Look at that, man. Hotel shortcut, Sakaichi. Look at the top right-hand corner. They're going in for that alpha push so, so early to allow their teammates to pick up Bravo. The distraction gameplay coming in from RTL Legacy so, so early in the game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Absolute brilliance when it comes to domination. And this is the way you played. Oh! Denied at the very last moment. Ooh, denied just like that by Young J. He is the hero for the team just now as he goes for the Charlie point himself. But that was absolutely huge for the side of PDR Esports that they actually uh, still not losing Alpha as well just now. It was that close before that two cap being done. And they are so close to taking Bravo as well. But look at RTL. They are taking Alpha for themselves. And Charlie going to be taken by, uh, by I believe it was PDR. But no, just gets intercepted. Oh, what a play, man. P RTL Legacy right now bringing out the pro plays for all of you. Lockdown as well to put that Rick and Terry on the icing Sakaichi. It is gonna be an all-out decimation gameplay coming in from RTL Legacy. Road to legendary, truly legendary. The attempt to take back Bravo coming back through from PDR Esports. Successfully done and 
Alpha as well. It looks like the special forces avenue will belong to them for the time being. But Mitch were very, very strongly held on to by RTL Lexi. Million is trying to make a difference, but it's already at the 1 1 3 mark to 59. BDR Esports has got so far more to go if they want to make a comeback in Yasakaichi. Well, they really, really need to have a full-on lockdown, and they are, with the help of Transform Shield, going to take Bravo as well, but she has said no to that. Wonderfully done, with the help of the Thermite as well. The gameplays of the defense of RTL has been phenomenal, but BDR Esports, they still got Bravo. Alpha trying to be taken back by RTL Legacy over here, but they won't let it happen, and BDR Esports now need to go for Charlie, but it seems so, so tough to be done so, because RTL has been winning all the gunfights and they are now going into Alpha after making Bravo for themselves as well. Objection. Oh, Bravo capture being prevented from RTL. But RTL still manages to get it done at the end anyway. PDR Esports doing everything that they can to stop the Juggernaut's RTL so far, but nothing has been able to stop the monsters. But look at Rage flying through. KRM one after the other. One shot, one kill, one shot, one kill. But full on lockdown still comes in here from to Legendary. Charlie taken back, and it looks like the Gorilla Base will fall. PDR Esports. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, no matter what they do though, the match has been set and locked and won by Road to Legendary. What a beautiful donut served up once again at the final day of the group stages, Yesakaichi. If you want to call a statement by one of the best teams in the Philippines, do it when you are already on top going up against somebody who is uh, uh, who is going to the playoffs as well beating them 3 to 9